Ho, 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 ho. Hi, welcome back to another episode of Your Money Mindset. I'm John McGregor. This is a special edition Money Mindset. It's the holiday edition, and I'm just uh, absolutely astounded we made it this far in this year, right? Actually, the year's gone by pretty fast, but it's pretty amazing how quickly these holidays and now Christmas has, has snuck up on us, and, and I hope you guys are out there enjoying it and join as much as you can with friends and family. And I know this can be a really stressful and crazy time, especially given COVID. And now we're, we're looking at another lockdown, which is making our lives even more, more miserable, right? And uh, more challenging. And, and I know a lot of you are struggling financially. I get your messages. Uh, I get your comments that you post and I get the submissions on my website. I hear it. I feel the desperation. I understand it. Um, Work's been tough, right? Uh, hours have been cut, jobs have been cut, salaries have been cut, and uh, we're all trying to figure out how or if we're gonna get through this. I will tell you, I will tell you, we are gonna get through this. I, I can assure you that, and we're gonna do this together. So having said that, given what's going on, you know, I thought I'd, I'd, I was gonna behave myself with the food and the eating this year. No way, I'm going all in. But I'm getting my workouts in, but uh, I'm not holding back. And you know what, what the heck? Let's just, let's just have some fun. I I think, I think we all earned it and, uh, and I hope you can, uh, you can do the same. I did want to share something with you that, um, and I know before you roll your eyes, which many of you do, um, that I think could really help you given the challenges that we're dealing with and then given the holiday season and the, you know, the, the, the presents and the decorating and the family members that are coming, you know, all that craziness that's going on. And, the, and then of course, add the uncertainty of, of the environment, the COVID environment. And, and there is something that you can do and it doesn't cost you anything, which is the added bonus, right? We could all use something for free right now. Um, and again, a lot of you are going to be like, ah, oh, God, I don't want to hear this. I've heard this before, blah, 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 blah. And, and I'll tell you, the people that say that are the ones that never practice this that I'm about to tell you, right? They've never really taken the time to actually, we see that a lot. People poo-poo and hush a lot of things that they've never done or tried themselves. So, um, so I want to talk to you about gratitude and it's really about uh, incorporating a, a gratitude practice, as I call it. And I know this sounds airy-fairy. It's like, John, what's this gonna do for me now? I can barely uh, make ends meet right now. But I'll tell you, it's a game changer, and it can be for you. Too many times, too many of us think about the things that we don't have versus the things that we do have. And, and just look in your life. Think of all the things that you're, you're grateful for. Most of the time you take for granted. I mean, just getting up in the morning, going to make yourself breakfast and uh, getting on a, on a, in a car. Maybe it's not working that well, but it's getting you where you wanna be. Maybe it's not the fanciest car, the nicest car that you have, but it's, it's transporting you <clears throat> to another place where you don't have to walk. I mean, it's just, I mean, when you think about it, think of all the, the technological advances that we have that have made our lives so much easier. The washing machine, the dishwasher, the garbage disposal, the microwave, the smartphones that we carry. And so, so no matter what you're dealing with or struggling with, whether it's relationships, family, work, health, and of course, personal finance, whatever it is, there are so, so many things you can be grateful for. Look, you can walk, you can read, you can see, you can hear, you can exercise. You can uh, go outside and, and view nature. And, and I, you know, I just went on a, on a crazy, crazy trail run this, 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 this morning. And I'm just, I just stopped there and I just kind of looked around going, oh my gosh, this is amazing. What I have practically in my backyard. And I drove myself there. There I had my, my, my trail running shoes on. I had my, uh, the equipment that I take with me and, and I was able to listen to a podcast while I'm out there, which I shouldn't, but I, I did and, um, distracts me from the pain of running. Right. But I mean, gosh, it's just incredible what we have in our lives, no matter what you're dealing with, right? No matter what you're dealing with, um, friends, family members, loved ones, and those aren't always the same thing, but, but you know what I mean, right? We have people in our lives and, and our coaches and, and mentors that we have and the teachers that we've had and some of the experiences that we have. I mean, we could be grateful for things that we've done in the past. Um, so I, I, 
and, and let me just a little, little bit more. The reason you want to do this on a regular basis, I do this every morning on my walk, um, is I spend two to three, maybe, maybe, maybe five minutes tops thinking about something I'm grateful for. And what I'm doing is essentially I'm training my brain to be in a gratitude mindset. Right, And it's like a muscle. You're training a, a gratitude muscle in the subconscious of your brain. And the reason you're doing that is because the more you can think and feel and, and really sense a, a feeling of gratitude, the more you're going to be grateful throughout your day. And here's the beauty of it. When you're grateful, you can't be sad. When you're grateful, you can't be angry. When you're grateful, you can't be depressed. When you're grateful, you can't be irritated. Those things cannot coexist. Gratitude Gratitude and sadness does not work at the same time. So the more you can train your brain to be grateful, the more you're going to be grateful throughout your, li uh, throughout your life, or excuse me, throughout your day and throughout your life, the less you're going to be sad, angry, depressed, uh, disappointed, etc. It quashes those negative feelings in your brain. So that's why this is so, so important. So here's a challenge I just, I just thought of. How about for the next 30 days, we all do a gratitude practice uh, for three to five minutes, uh, whatever part time of the day, uh, put a, put a reminder in your smartphone so that it'll go off and remind you to, Hey, just stop everything that you're doing. Take three minutes. Think of one thing, one thing you're grateful for. And it could be anything. It could be the milk in your refrigerator, whatever it is. I, I was just thinking of some crazy things, but think of something you're grateful for and go deep, deep on that. And, uh, and let me know how you, how, how that's going. I want to hear some comments, what you're grateful for, what you've experienced. Did you have that aha moment when you went, Oh my gosh, this is really making me feel better. This is really making my life better. This is really helping me overcome the challenges that we're dealing with given this COVID crisis. So this is a Excellent, excellent time to buy this book, The Top 10 Reasons the Rich Go Broke, especially now, um, given it's the holiday season and the COVID crisis. This book was specifically written. I know it talks about the rich, but this book is really about why so many people go broke or why so many people are living paycheck to paycheck. It's not just about the rich. It's, a, it's about why the masses are living paycheck to paycheck and unable and are struggling financially. And so it makes a great stocking stuffer for you or, or perhaps a loved one. You can pick it up on Amazon. And, and as I always say, learning from people's successes is smart, but learning from people's mistakes is genius. And that's why I think this book has been so, so widely popular. And, and I also uncover the, the why behind why people go broke. And then I help you with a, a workbook comes along with it, why and how you can overcome the challenges that are keeping you from uh, achieving the dreams um, and, uh, and the desires that you deserve to live. So with that, back to the eggnog, right? Back to the turkey, um, back to the family, back to the crazy uncle, uh, whatever it is may be. So with that, I just want to say, you know, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Feliz Navidad, Meli Kliki Maka, whatever the language it is for you. Um, I just wish you all the best this holiday season and an amazing, amazing new year 2021. And as I always say, it's never too late to start your journey to financial freedom and peace of mind. Your financial destiny is not a matter of chance. It's a matter of choice. It's your choice. And we're going to do this together. I've got a lot of stuff coming out this year for you, or excuse me, next year for you. So stay tuned, hit subscribe, leave a comment, comment and let's do the gratitude practice for the next 30 days. All right. Who's with me? All right. Take care. Happy holidays. Happy new year. All the best.